Hello and welcome back. I've been asked a question by subscribers which addresses an important issue in book collecting. It is this, storing books horizontally. What are the pros and cons? Stay tuned and I'll show you. Well, the good thing about it is that it allows you to store these taller books on small shelves, but there are things against it too. Firstly, the books at the bottom of the pile may get crushed and distorted over time. If you can't avoid storing them like this, then I'd recommend that you store the heaviest ones at the bottom or rotate the books occasionally. Secondly, because the books in the pile are more difficult to get out, then they may become unloved and unused. And if your collection is a reference library, then that really needs to be avoided. So what's the answer? Well, I'll show you. The obvious thing that springs to mind is to get bookshelves with adjustable shelves. These are IKEA bookcases. They're sturdy and adjustable, but there is a drawback. If you adjust your shelves to take the tallest books in your collection, then you can be wasting a lot of space. And very importantly, they can look untidy. The real solution is to avoid the issue in the first place. That's got you puzzled, I'm sure, but believe me, it's possible. Let's assume your collection is military books like these here. But this method will work with pretty much any non-fiction subject. It is all to do with why books in certain subjects are made in certain sizes. I'll be covering book sizes in more detail in future videos, but for now, I'll just talk about these. I'm going to look at three different sizes of military books. This is octavo size, about nine inches tall. Its size allows for good, tidy text layout, decent sized illustrations, plans and maps, and it looks tidy and uniform on the shelf. It's a decent quality binding too, which means it's going to last. This is the same sort of book, shrunk into its smaller paperback format. The text has shrunk, and so too have the illustration sections. Now that's important because many of the illustrations in these sort of books are very detailed. You don't want to be getting a magnifying glass out to study them. Its paperback binding also makes it difficult to hold open, and straining it is going to ruin it eventually. On to the largest book. As you can see, it's packed full of photos and small text sections. Now with some subjects, in particular art books and railway transport books, that's actually completely appropriate. It's appropriate because both those subjects are all about visual details and need to be packed with photos and drawings. So if your collection is in those subjects or similar subjects, then you can set your shelves at a height to accept those taller books. But in the case of these military books, it's different. Look at this book's contents. It's not very detailed textually, and it covers a wide subject, so it's not going to focus in great detail on any one particular thing. Remember, the history of warfare is vast, necessitating entire volumes to be written about just one particular battle. You'll also find that many large books like this contain articles taken from the more serious books you may already have. It may interest you to know that when I buy collections of books from people, very often these are the ones they want to get rid of. They've been bought as presents, kindly meant by loved ones, but all too often they end up as coffee table books, so-called because they don't fit on the shelves Hence, that's why they get their name. So in short, the way to avoid the horizontal issue is to be careful about what you buy. Avoid as far as possible those books which are awkward sizes and plan your bookcases according to the size of books your particular subject is going to come in. This collection of military books looks great in hardback octavo size and really is the best suited for its subject. Try to leave a couple of inches above the book so you can get them out easily. These rail transport books are the taller quarto size. They look neat and tidy 
and are the optimal size for their subject matter. There will of course always be exceptions to the rule. This is the world of books after all. But this method works in a bookshop. I hope it will work for you too. Thanks for watching.